Uh, much more tonight about the suspect and have exclusive video of federal agents searching his home. Fox 2's Andy Banker picks up our live team coverage from there. Andy. Yeah, Mandy, and the true point of all this investigating is to hopefully make sure this doesn't happen again. There's a memorial started now in front of the high school. Balloons, flowers, candles, and it hurts to think about the 700 plus students and staff that started the day here with no clue that this would be here and this is how the day would end. Both St. Louis police and federal authorities are looking into where 19 year old gunman Orlando Harris got all the firepower he had with him when he smashed through a door and went into the school here shortly after nine this morning. Police say he was certainly intent on carrying out a massacre. The individual had uh, almost a, a, a dozen 30 round you know, high capacity magazines on him. Uh, so that's a whole lot of victims there. The FBI and ATF conducted a search of Harris's home in South St. Louis and also of his car left at the high school. Police are looking into items from the car that may have served as some sort of manifesto or list of past school shootings and shooters. Did the suspect have a note, a list? I'm not really sure of what might have been. I know that there's some evidence that was taken out uh, of the vehicle. He says the motive is not yet clear, but says Harris graduated from the high school last year and broke in with his rifle drawn today. He was reportedly telling others this is the day you're going to die. Police say he has no adult criminal record and investigators are looking into whether mental illness was a factor. Police say four students ages 15 to 16, four boys and three girls were injured. Four suffered bullet wounds. Multiple students jumped from a third floor window to escape the gunfire. One of them fractured her ankle. The FBI has issued a warning about others who may be plotting to follow Harris's lead or posting hoaxes on social media. Since this happened this morning, we have received an uptick in additional allegations of potential school shooters around here. Any hoax or any joke that they're sending about school shooting right now will be taken incredibly seriously. And the FBI has started a digital evidence collection website. Anyone with any video, photos, maybe some audio, anything digital should upload it to fbi.gov forward slash VPA as in visual performing arts, part of the name of the school here. We'll have a link to that website for you with this story on our website, fox2now.com. Live in South St. Louis, Andy Banker, Fox Students.